Sunday the 18th of June, about 6 in the morning, and it's Father's Day. So what better way to start the day than when the plants have really started to come on in the last a couple of weeks since they've been in. This is uh, Blackberry. I just haven't done the second stuff on this yet as they bud on turning to up and back. I've left the bud early over there just to have a look and see what sort of size it's coming. Wild place, really rude. <coughs> and I'll be stopping them in about a week's time. But they've uh, really come in on big plants now. Gertler, there's one there, they're not back. I've been pinching the buds back quite hard as, as they come. Um, just to get the numbers up and then I'll, I'll play around with the bug count after. R1, Primrose Hall. One plant there, I'm trying to grow on a single as a small plant, see if I can hold it. Mary's. Oh, just had a, a water and a feed of uh, Miracle Grow. That's Dave's choice. <coughs> Over there, we've got Marston Susan. Well, that's Marston Karen. That's Marston Susan. So they're really uh, simply settling in. On the palms, I've been sort of leaving them till they bud, and I've sort of left this plant here. This is Gertler. Um, now, second stopping at this time of the year is going to be far too early, and it will bud the world before I want. But I've sort of held off um, purposely because I don't want too big a plant. So I'm going to chop this one back. I'll chop it, pinch it back. Quite hard and removing um, a fair part of the plant. No point in leaving the ones at the top there because they're going to bud quite quick. I think we just get in there and reduce it back. Now, these shoots that come from this should flower or bud well before I want them to. Um, but what I'll do then is decide whether I want more buds and then I'll just pinch the bud back or if I'm happy with the number of shoots I've got and I'll just knock it back and do a bit of side shooting off that main stem to maintain the number it's a bit of a fiddly old game but <coughs> I don't know how they're going to perform in this garden so I've got to sort of be a bit tentative about it so that one's now pinched back most of the others that have been done, I sort of saved that one because I forgot to film it. Um, so they're all pretty much pinched back. There's the odd shoot, some that haven't yet, and they're just staying in a flush. But uh, there's, they seem to be settling in alright. They're quite long jointed, but I think that's something to do with the uh, low light levels in the garden. So the sun just creeping through now. They all get a bit during the day, but they certainly don't get a full day's worth. Um, let's see what happens. Give them a spray now, first proper spray of the year. It's been spot treating, but time to give them a whole spray over. I'll just use a bit of Vado just to uh, make sure. Wednesday the 21st of um, June, just about to give them a, another water. They've been watered every couple of days because we're having a bit of a heat wave. Um, but you can see from the first stop, um, the plants are now branched well out another week and we'll be hitting them back again hopefully before then I'll have this uh, straw off so this is um, Oakwood Goldcrest um, the ground looks dry on the top but it's it's not underneath There's no flagging of the plants here's the odd one that is deciding to uh, produce a, a bud um, before I want it to but I'll just chop them back at the time and there's other breaks there that I can pick that I haven't couple of um, odd dines at the end there because I didn't have enough oakwood to fill the bed. This is the dines and again they're um, well branched. I've sort of gone through them and took them down to six or seven shoots um, to chop back later and if there's little weak ones like that I'll just take them out because um, they have no real benefit to anyone. Um, there'll be plenty there to cut back. 
and if any do have buds in then uh, I'll either cut, cut them out or cut them off that's the Diane's Moonlight's actually at the same just took them down um, they've had their first stop and they've got some decent breaks um, on them ready to to do again um, in about a week or so's time end of the month I'll probably do half and half so I'll take half back um, and then a week later take the other half back just to give them a bit of a natural spread a bit less knocking back when it comes to it I would imagine um, and the Challenger again they've been stopped quite a while um, and we've got only four brakes on the plant um, so we've got one there two three and four and reasonable um, strength and they'll get chopped back um, at the end of the month as well but they've all seemed to have settled in quite well on the, on the allotment not bumping away but they're uh, doing alright you know, some of these plants are loving strong fur uh, knocking and then over here we've got the valentine um, which are just about thinking about the bud there's probably a, a bud in there just um, but the brakes aren't coming away yet and that's about the right time for me I tend to stop them a bit earlier um, and everything else is a bit slow to bud so I'll just let them go through their process and I'll have the top out of them at the end of the month and uh, hopefully they'll be there and a bit of brake selection will sort it out let's give them a walk right so about the 22nd of June I um, meant to do this a day or two ago but time to chop them all placed back there's a few buds um, coming in the tips they've already had um, two stops then planted and this is the uh, result of that, that being one plant um, I'm just going to get in there and cut them back with one hand um, there's no point messing about at tips if you just take that bit out which is really a bud and two side buds these two are going to bud very quickly this plant's big enough, strong enough um, tall enough, plenty of breaks I don't want to encourage too many and I don't want to lose too much strength so I'm going to go further down on these and take them down I tend to do all the um, stronger ones first it opens it up so I can see, see the rest and just chuck them on the floor using me Father's Day present some of the thinner ones have a habit of taking those down a bit lower um, there's no point trying to encourage too many shoots to come off of a, what's already a thin shoot by the number of shoots that are on this already I reckon I'm going to end up um, when the buds start coming from these um, thinning out some of the, the, the weaker shoots anyway now the pom size has uh, gone up to 55 mil from 20, uh, 52 um, I've got to sort of adapt what I used to do a little bit to that um, I still do like to have the poms um, near, the <coughs> near the ring if I can um, especially on varieties like this because they tend to get a bit more depth about them so that's that done, we've got a pile of stuff down there um, and that chop back and is ready really now for the uh, the first tie which that'll get in the next day or so just got to do the rest there's one down there that I'd already done and remembered the film I've left an odd shoot there um, with a bud notice I've already took the calyx off um, just so I let it open and see what it looks like in the garden I've done that with a few of the varieties just to get a feel for them but I'm happy with the plants it's got to be cut back and uh, time for another water as well so 
You haven't got me holding the camera and trying to cut at the same time. I've got Finn, my uh, son, holding it now. His cameraman. Say hello, Finn. Hello. Um, the myth of cutting back or double stopping, chopping. If we were just going to stop this shoot, this is a plant of Mary's Germanda um, that's already been stopped, been planted beginning of uh, June. If we were going to just stop it, then we might just sort of think about removing the top there. Um, that's really going to be a bit pointless because there's so many growths, we've got four good strong shoots here and a couple of weak ones only going to want about 16 up um, at the most 16 so I'm going to really go into that a bit lower down, we've got four shoots if I'm going to allow at least um, three pairs, that's six on each that's going to give me at least 24 shoots or thereabouts so we're just going to cut in down there it's gone same shoot over here, we've got at least three pairs, there's a little pair down the bottom there, so we're going to cut in down there. You could go another pair down if you really care to be in brave, but on miniatures there's no need to be. Um, we can soon take out the excess shoots as they develop. And then we're going to go in this back shoot here. You see once the bud comes in the top, the side shoots start to come, but again we go down leaving about three pairs so that's done in amongst there is a little shoot at the back um, it's thin and it's not really worth stopping we're already going to get enough shoots from what we've got so I'll just pull that out and remove it completely there's no point trying to pinch the tip out of that when we've already got the strength in what we've got there so that's going to give us at least 24 shoots more than we actually need um, the top ones are going to are likely to bud first before the others so over time I'll probably wipe those out so we get the most from the bottom so this is the same mirror as Jamanda but this one's got quite a few shoots on it um, by the looks of it I've stopped it once it's come it's produced a bud which mirrors tends to down here and I've took the bud out so this single shoot has already got four on it so you treat that slightly differently, there's no point leaving four on each um, so I'm going to get cut it generally all back a bit harder which should give us the same number of shoots as the previous one so here's a, the shoot where it's already shooted out once um, I'm just going to literally nibble that little one back take that to one pair of leaves that to one pair of leaves there's another one on the side here um, I'm going to take that down, it still leaves two pairs of leaves the dog's joining in now and then we've got a nice strong one at the back it's coming out and the same here we've got a pair down the bottom, a pair there and a pair there that comes out and then there's another shoot at the back here remove that leaf that's already been stopped so in effect it's like first stop second stop and it's going to get done again so we're just going to take these out there these haven't budded yet or even thought about it um, so there's no growth in these axles and they're not going to bud too quickly from it we're taking them out there again there's a very wispy little shoot sitting in there um, can't see any benefit with that so we take them out there's another one down there so that one's now done, so it's slightly different, we have more shoots because we've had to stop it along the way um, and it's just treating it, so you get around about probably at least the 16 shoots that you want, maybe up to 20, I don't really want many more than that Alright, this monster of a plant, it's got stems that landed for it is uh, Barbary Primrose Hall, you can see how tall it is, it's um, probably two and a half foot tall now it was a young plant, a small plant when I planted it so I didn't uh, double stop it I left it, let it go and this is generally what happens and it's much the same as if this was a uh, valentine, a giant or even a medium and you, you're trying to get away with it on a single stop now ideally I would probably wait another week on this but just so that I can get this video out um, courtesy of Ian saying I'm going to um, I'm going to treat it now, I'm thinking about 10 to 12 up on this um, as a miniature so looking down there I can already see 2, 4, 6, 8 that's 10 shoots um, that are going to be there already 
but I'm doing this a bit earlier than I would and some of these side shoots have, have already started to develop so I reckon there's every likelihood that I'm going to get these buds much before I want them to so rather than having a tall plant flopping around and cutting it out there and going great that gives me my 10 shoots um, that's just going to end up tall and, and floppy so I'm going to go down harder again so the only thing that worries me cutting into this big fat stem here is that you can then get a bit of rot so with this case I tend to think I'll leave the top alone and I'll take those two out for the time being until all that seals and perhaps just tidy this cut up then if there's something happens with this joint here I've got a rescue up and cut it back down and these shoots I think are probably bud before I want them to so if I need to double up the count so I've only got say 8 and I want to get to 10 then I can just knock them back and allow two flowers to come on each of the stems probably more the case from the lower ones than the top if this was a Canora Valentine or a giant or something you're only growing 6 up then you'd cut down into here um, but probably do what I've just done cut higher, take the shoots out and allow those six to develop down there these should be your flowering shoots but where they've already grown and it's the danger of trying to do things on a single stop it's quite often the plant will beat you to to it and start side shooting before you take the top out and um, they're likely to go sooner rather than later so but that's what I'm going to do and I'll try it in comparison to the ones behind here that have already been um, stopped there on a the double most of them already are. There's the odd shoot that I've already cut the bud off, um, cut them down as I've seen the bud. And that plant there behind shows that where we've still got two shoots and these ones have budded early and I've just knocked them back. Um, and what I'll probably do is do this plant in a week's time and take these four down to one pair and these two down to two pairs and give me enough um, shoots on that. Right. On the other extreme, um, I've never grown this one before, so I'm going to want plenty of shoots. Um, I've resisted getting a second stop into it early because I could see that it wasn't necessarily going to rush to bud. Um, this is Rycroft Blackberry. Um, I'm thinking, as a large palm, I'm going to want at least 18 to 20 shoots. But it's alright to mess about with palms a little bit later on, so I'm going to um, stop this now because effectively, when you look at the, bud, uh, the tops, the buds are there and it stopped itself um, so I'm going to stop it now but I'm going to give myself a little bit of grace by not hammering it quite so hard it's a big plant and there's plenty of it um, so this is going to go into there there's one gone another one there go into this one there's no point going right up the top here but I'm leaving at least three or four pairs of leaves on each of these stems there's a little weaker one there but if it's weak but not that weak I'll just go down harder so we're not expecting so many shoots from that stem as the others another one there and the same there these are upper shoots here are really formed they're going to bud really quick um, because the top's budded but there's some lower ones down here that haven't yet started to show themselves so we'll have them off there and there's one more at the back there and it's generally about six shoots because I tend to always do my first stop down to three pairs of leaves so that gives us that six if this was um, of something like Canora Challenger that I'm only growing four up um, already a, a, on the plot I've took it down to four flowering shoots and then I'll just take each one down to two pairs of leaves and then I'll wipe out the extra um, shoots as they come very, at a very early stage leaving perhaps five, maybe six, a week later knock it down to another uh, one off, down to five and I'll, I flower it at four, I know the guys up north do it at five but the challenger would be down to four and flowering and it's just the only way of controlling these plants imagine if you're trying to do a single stop on this or expecting these shoots to flower for show time they're going to be about a month early so at least now we're about 60 days from the first show bit early for me so I'm going to do the rest um, perhaps in a week's time because I'm not looking at the start flowering until the week after the bank holiday um, and I'll just play around with knocking the individual stems back as we go um, what I will do is show you a, a little bit about knocking back and um, pretending it on the stem just so you've got a bit of an idea um, of what you can do later on it might just take, ease the pain when you're cutting these plants back now 
so later on when we get the buds too early now we're always working on about a 25 day um, average if you're further up north it'll be longer smaller flowers ponds sometimes 20 days but if we said 25 and we've got this big bud here and it'll be well before the show perhaps we're talking two weeks before the show um, the way to deal with it, and say so don't do this now, but it's, it's something to sort of start getting your head around. Um, that bud's going to be far too early. These little shoots have already got buds in there, they're too early. So if we were to knock this back and wanted to delay it two weeks, just by doing that, and I've got enough shoots in this plant to play around with one of them, remove that, it's quite likely that these two shoots here will produce a bud in about a week's time. So if that is what we was going to do, and we say right we're going to have this one, we then take that one off. But I'm saying that this plant is two weeks early. So we're going to go down another plant, another stem, take that off, and then we've got this. We would then take each of these side shoots off, and as a stem, I'm going to sacrifice this later, um, and hook them out and take everything else off the plant, or on that stem. Right the way down, leaving just the leaves. Now that shoot there should produce a bud in about two weeks time so use the counting if you need it to go even harder three weeks go further back but if you're stopping your plants now to a clean stop you're unlikely to get buds three weeks before when you need them and we're looking for buds probably early August up into the sort of end of the first week of August for national um, show onwards and um, press first between the first and second so there's ways of controlling it so don't panic if you think the plants are ahead and the flowers are going to come too early you can use the knockback method we'll do it more in detail further on but that's what it's about when we start talking about it especially on Facebook about knocking back that's the knockback what we've just done is a stop it's a clean second stop starting back from scratch